Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this 12 ampere M18 Milwaukee battery. It's got uh, one wee flashing light. And if we put it on the charge, we get the Milwaukee Christmas, I call it. That's when you have a faulty battery. Battery showing a none too impressive 14.34. The four screws out, we should be able to take the top off there. One bank of cells to the other, 3.6, 3 3.6, 3.6, 3.52, a little bit lower than the other three, but it's, yeah, it's alright, 3.6. I'm dead. So this bank has died completely and we're going to have to replace those cells. The cells we need to replace, these three, are 4000 milliamps. They're 21700s. The ones that are in these are Samsung uh, 21740Ts. We don't have any of those, but we have something very similar. Um, similar in the sense of the same output and of the same milliampers and the same cylindrical size these is from um, an 8 ampere parkside battery that I've been robbing cells out of for quite some time now I've already used a couple of out of this and if we check the voltage of these so if we test the voltage of these cells we get 3.6 roughly roughly speaking so that's more or less spot on for what we need that means if we took out these ones that are dead and replace them with three of these, we should have a fairly well balanced pack in the Milwaukee battery. So we'll get down to business and see if we can get three of these out. Right. Just trying to be careful. Especially when we're reusing cells, I'm trying to be careful and not, uh, not damage them. Nice bit of prep done, so I've roughed up the edges of them so the spot welds stick better to them. That's what I was up to there. There's no easy way, just cut it off with a Dremel. There's no easy way.
So here's your cells. As I already knew, there's Samsung uh, 21740Ts. That's a 4000 milliamp cell. And we're going to replace them with these Parkside 4000 milliamp. Which aren't Samsung, but they're closest, closest possible. So we'll just check these when they're out, just to show you again. There's basically nothing showing the voltage of those. So they are beyond use. We'll just slide these in some. Hot welder died during this build so I had to use a lot of soldering instead which I don't like usually doing but hey what would you say it needs must so I'll put this together and see if it's gonna go let's try in the charger see what happens it's charging Lovely. So we'll leave that for a while and then we'll come back to it and see how we get on. Three bars, she's coming up nicely. So here we are, Milwaukee. Green light on the charger. Four bars on the battery. A very respectable 20.2, 20.3 coming out the top. Last but not least. Turn the tool. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.